Anne, look at that. Is that your blood? <laughs> no. I'm bleeding. It hurts, doesn't it? I feel like we're wasting time here. I told you, I have to go to my son's birthday party. Gotta get him a present. Yeah, Sarge, the mayor Chris Ritchie is meeting Marco this Friday night. It's gonna be nasty. Huh? Oh shit, I gotta go, it's probably bugged. Who are you talking with there? Is that the guy you're working for? Tony, if you tell me, I don't have to cut off your toes. It's a simple yes or no question. If the answer is yes, you shake your head like this! <laughs> I know. You're making a guessing game. I'll go first. I'm gonna guess that you're a journalist. Yeah. For the big scoop. Check out tomorrow's paper, boys. I'll be in. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong with you, Leon? You don't think this is funny? Are we doing this for fun? Why don't you just kill him before the boss comes back? Ooh. You know. <laughs> you are such a cruel bastard. Must give you pleasure to do this kind of work. Hey, Marco! Check this out. He's no journalist. FBI. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And look at this, uh, your name really isn't Tony. <laughs> you work for the government. <laughs> okay. My job is halfway done. We are so close. My associate over there just identified you, which means now you, anyone you care about, is now in danger. Your wife, kids. Fuck you. <sighs> Impressive. You are a top notch undercover agent. I admire your strength. Okay. Okay. You got a strong will. Tony, I want you to pray to God. Prove to me that God exists. That's good. Six years military experience. I see you received a war medal. Mind if I ask what it was for? Yes, sir. It's Purple Heart. I'm not a war hero. I was uh, captured in hell for nine months. They might have broke my jaw, but they didn't break me. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about your jaw. It's all right. Fine now, except for a little bit of metal in my mouth. Oh, lockjaw. <laughs> so that's why they call you lockjaw. Whatever. Lockjaw, I have the perfect job for you. What is it? It's not going to be easy. Lay it on me. Come in. Listen, this is Tony. Tony, this is Leon. Hey, Leon. Leon? Yes, as of today, your name is Leon. Your mission is to go undercover to find a connection between the governor and the mafia. Do not disclose anything related to this case. This mission is classified. Understood? Yes, sir. So what's your story? My story? 
Well, I've been an undercover cop for about two years. I used to think it'd be an easy way to get a promotion, but uh, not anymore. My life's more important to me now. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm afraid of dying, especially now that I have something, something worth living for. How about you? You got anyone you're willing to lay your life down on the line for? Nope. No? What's your biggest fear? I wouldn't say it's death because it's always by your side. Of course, you turn your back on him and he will, uh... Jump at you. Yeah. Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> at least that's what my father used to say. He used to say that I was born into a military family like it was my destiny or something. I mean, my father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather. They were all army sergeants. Well, sorry to disagree with your old man, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's all very brave and all, but, I mean, you can't turn your back on fear. That's not going to make you live any longer. Fear is what keeps you alive. Fear is what makes you stronger. Well, when I was held captive, I was afraid. All I could think about was wanting to survive. I wanted to escape, but then when I figured out that that wasn't possible, all I could think about was dying. I had no will to survive. You can't control when you die. Only God knows. I don't believe in God. Me neither. What? You just said... Yeah, I, I know what I said. Sometimes when you don't want to see God, He's there. And when you need God, He's nowhere to be found. What the fuck? I shot him. He's dead. What? What are you talking about? Wait! Shoot this fucker! Get him! Leon, are you okay? Leon, Leon, are you okay? 